They came to remind the world that in the United States, the fight for racial equality is still far from over, retracing the footsteps of those who marched in 1963. 60 years ago, 250,000 people, led by the young Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., linked arms, raised their voices, and heard King's speech about his dream for equality. On Saturday, the thousands who marched say King's dream is still unfulfilled. Prognosis feels grim, and there are some things that have changed, but today's march and commemoration just emphasizes how much still needs to be done. I've noticed that even when I work, maybe somebody of another color would get paid more money than I do, and even though I might even have more education. In the U.S., the African-American poverty rate is more than double that of white Americans. Police brutality targeting blacks remains an ongoing problem, and some conservative states have moved to ban the teaching of African-American studies in school. There will be other times. Martin Luther King Jr.'s eldest son delivered an updated rallying cry. Dad would probably say, now is the time. We must preserve, protect, and expand democracy. We must ensure that voting rights is protected for all people. We must ensure that our women and children are treated fairly. We must end gun violence. This march spoke for a greater variety of groups with protesters calling for protecting LGBTQ and Asian American rights. And while in 1963 only one woman spoke to the crowd, today many took the podium. Spread the word! Have you heard? All across the nation! We are going to be a great generation! The marchers say each step is another toward progress, but the target of true equality remains distant. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.